Yes, of course, nuclear energy has to be safe. But if you look at the records worldwide, it is a very safe source of energy, even when you include, of course, the terrible disaster at Fukushima. Still, you have to remember that no one has died from radiation in Fukushima. It might be a social disaster, that's true. But no one was died from radiation. Authorities no are saying there's at least one case of leukemia that they can directly attribute, and there could be more. Well, it's one case of leukemia that was, for administrative reasons, directly attributed. It's not proven that medically it's attributed. It's not the same thing. If the person has a special status that he will receive an indemnity from the government because he's considered a victim, because he received a, more than a certain number of millisieverts, but the relationship of, cannot be established in a certain manner. And it's only one case when 20,000 persons died from the tsunami, so the big disaster was mostly the tsunami, and of course the social consequences of the evacuation. But the, we should also remember that this was an early type of nuclear reactor, which had only a very thin containment, only 10 centimeters of steel. The reactors that are in operation today in France or in, in Western Europe and that we are planning to build in the future have at least one meter thick of reinforced concrete. That's very big. And the EPR reactor, which we're talking about for Hinkley Point, is two times more than one meter thick of reinforced concrete with a double containment. Now, if that reactor had been at Fukushima, even with the bad estimation of how high the wave and the tsunami would be, nothing would have happened and the reactor would be entirely safe. So we're talking about, of course, not a zero risk. Zero never exists, but we have to make it as safe as possible. And the safest reactor on Earth is certainly the EPR reactor, which is planned for Hinkley Point.